Red Nosed Reindeer first aired on NBC December 6, 1964 and is based on a short story by Robert Louis May and it was published in 1939 in a booklet by Montgomery Ward which up until the late 1990s was a department store powerhouse. Yeah, Montgomery Ward was a pretty big deal and we all patiently awaited the arrival of the Montgomery Ward Christmas catalog every year. And this is where my dad bought me my Turbo Graphics, something I most certainly appreciated but did not deserve. But anyways, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was made into a song in 1949 by Johnny Marks, who just happened to be Robert Louis May's brother-in-law, and the song would go on to be immortalized by Gene Autry, and this version is still played on the radio today. But before Rudolph was immortalized in song, he made his on-screen debut in 1948 in a cartoon short by Max Flesher. Yes, the same Max Flesher, who was the animation innovator behind Betty Boop, Popeye, and the Superman cartoons. So the short story, the animated shorts, and the song all made Rudolph the newest Christmas character. And Rankin and Bass would proceed to make him a legend. Not only would Rankin and Bass make Rudolph a legend, but this television special would also make the animation style known as stop motion very famous. And this animation style would unofficially become known as claymation. And since Rankin and Bass utilized this animation style in pretty much all of their other Christmas specials, claymation would become synonymous with Christmas. And despite the fact of how popular Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was, this wasn't released on home media until 1989, which meant that if you wanted to watch it, and you totally did, you had to wait for it to come on television. And luckily, they would air this annually as part of a Christmas tradition. This was a big deal. Everyone would watch this. And you can bet your sweet bippy that my fat ass was parked in front of a TV every time this came on. Yes, it was a Christmas tradition, and having to wait for it to come on television made Christmas time even more special. Now, I think it's rather odd that they took so long to put this on VHS, but clearly, this was a clever marketing ploy because most of the other Rankin and Bass Christmas specials were released on VHS at the same time as part of a box set. Now, you could buy each of them separately. It just made more sense to buy the box set. And once these were released on VHS, the Christmas floodgates opened because they would all go on to have multiple VHS releases all throughout the 1990s. And the 1998 VHS release of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is actually a different cut of the film. Any of these VHS releases are very easy to find today and very cheap. They made a shit ton of these and therefore they just aren't that rare. And even the Max Flesher Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer cartoon was released on VHS. But it's one of those really cheap cartoon cavalcade VHSs that you would find in McCrory's or Big Lots. You know, the tapes that would cost a dollar and pretty much disintegrate after one viewing. Watch, Watch the full, full episode, episode here, here, as well as other, other classic, classic Catman's VHS, VHS pirate ship adventures. adventures. And please hit subscribe.